So you can take Earth 100. and position it 100 times back to back, belly to belly, and you'll span the width of the sun 100 times. Now, by the way, that's about the size of sunspots. So the sun has blemishes larger than Earth. Than the Earth. Just so you know. Jeez. All right. So now, if it's 100 times across, that means it's also 100 times deep. Deep. Yeah. It would be 100 times top to bottom. But how many Earths would fit Can into a hollow pour sun? Pour into the pour sun. Pour into the sun. Pour into the sun. That's 100 times 100 times 100. Give me what that number is. 100 cubed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chuck, for the precise response. 100 times 100 is 10,000. Right. And 100 to 10,000 million. And then? If that's it. I did it three times already. Okay. It's right. A million. So if the sun were hollow, you could you pour, pour a, a million, million Earths. Earths into it and still have room left over. Yet, for millennia, people were walking around saying the sun and the moon were like the same thing on the sky and we are the center of the universe. If you read Genesis literally, mm -hmm. the earth was created before the sun and the moon. And when we came to these realizations over the millennia, over the centuries, it was like, no, we're not making earth first and then assembling something a million times larger and have it orbit the earth. Right. That ain't how the universe yeah, works. It doesn't. Doesn't, yeah. They, they had a We're not that special. <laughs>